Welcome to Wax Off. My name is Rabina Reyesat and I'm a hearing aid audiologist. I'll be talking through our earwax removal videos, so let's see some wax. This patient, let's call him Lord Mace Tyrell. Lord Mace Tyrell had an earwax removal appointment with me because he was due to have new hearing devices fitted and he needed his ears to be clear for this. As you can see, he has quite large tragus hairs in his ears. And when you go in to get beyond the wax to view the eardrum, the end of the endoscope tip gets smeared with oil. So at this point, I can't view beyond the partial blockage. So here we begin. In goes the probe, a standard sized Zollna, and you can see that the end of the tube holds onto the surface of the plug straight away. But because we run into the same oily problem, I remove the probe and clean the end with a wipe again. When I go back into the ear canal, the hairy partial blockage attaches to the probe and we are out. This is quite a hairy piece of blockage removed. Not surprising because of the large amount of hairs in the entrance of the ear canal, which have become stuck in the wax over time. The wax is encapsulated in light coloured keratin around the edges with the more coarse, rougher tragus hairs which sprout out in the tragus part of the ear in some people which is mixed alongside the darker wax. The lighter parts of the encapsulated blockage are where the plug was attached to the ear canal wall this ear that I've just worked on had earwax removal elsewhere only a week and a half ago and it seems it may have not all been removed correctly so Lord Tyrell was glad to have this out today. I now have a more clearer passage to the eardrum here but there is still lots of residue in the outer third of the ear canal and here I'm removing that away. These smaller bits can easily get into hearing aids, so I wanted to ensure all of this was removed as much as possible before his hearing device fitting went ahead, hence why I'm taking my time to check everything around the periphery to ensure that every piece that is ready to come off will do. A small skin piece lifting up here, followed by some more of the peripheral keratin. Here is a final shot of the eardrum, quite a beautiful looking eardrum and very clear looking once I get the endoscope through the hairs. Not much else to say about this one, so I am now moving over to the right side. Now on this right side, immediately you can tell there is something completely different looking about the blockage. The reason for this is that the patient overused a 3% hydrogen peroxide in this ear, which caused all of the bits of keratin in his ear to gather in one place and create this whitish looking blockage. 
Although this is white, it isn't an infection. It's almost just bleached out keratin, which gives it a wet look from the HP still hanging around in the ear because hearing aids have been worn over the top of this blockage. I get through the very thick tragus hairs and the white keratin blockage begins to come away very easily. Some areas being revealed underneath are very pink, which shows it was beginning to get a bit sore through the over usage of the HP. But on a follow up appointment, this pinkness had all gone. Lord Tyrell was supposed to only use hydrogen peroxide once to remove what looked like a very thin residue layer of wax from the eardrum which could easily be fizzed out with a single usage of these drops but something was lost in translation and Lord Mace Tyrell kept on using it for weeks after he was recommended to stop. He has now stopped using the drops so he's no longer using them. I'm going in with a smaller fine end here to get the deeper parts of the keratin and I'm moving very slowly over the areas I can see. Most are not ready to come off but I am getting a few smaller skin pulls here and there. There is a flap of keratin right at the top of the screen, which I want to take off, but it is pretty deep. And although trying here a couple of times, it's clear that it's not ready to come off. And I am happy to leave that there because this part of the procedure can get quite pokey. All of the bits of keratin have gone straight into the tube, so no still shots of any of the extractions on this side, I'm afraid. Here is a final shot of the right ear. There is a yellow brownish hue behind the eardrum and Lord Mace Tyrell has fluctuation in his hearing which immediately indicates to me that there is some sort of fluid behind the eardrum because it can take a very brownish yellowish appearance sometimes. There are no bubbles that are visible here, but the eardrum looks off and his hearing certainly goes up and down very suddenly. So he has been referred for this. Thank you as always to my subscribers and the lovely new people who haven't subscribed yet watching my channel. If you liked this video, you might like this one here too. Click on it. I have lots more episodes and if you are new to my channel, maybe you can do a binge session after this one. Keep sharing my videos with people you think may like them. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,